The live-action Disney movie, Mulan, starring Chinese actress Liu Yifei, is the most expensive Disney remake to date. But after a scandal involving Yifei and three delays due to the pandemic, Disney announced on August 5th that it would leave the theatrical box office and release the movie on the Disney Plus streaming platform instead. However, it doesn't mean that the price of watching this movie will be cheaper. You will have to subscribe to Disney Plus, which costs US $2.99 per month, and pay an additional US $29.99 to watch Mulan, which makes it the most expensive video-on-demand movie in 10 years. The news has led to even more boycotts of the film, with even the Chinese netizens who once supported the film saying that they don't want Disney, an American company, to make a profit. In response, Disney CEO Bob Chapek said earlier this week, that this is a one-off, not a market model we're looking for in the future. More analysts say that Disney's move is equal to abandoning the Mulan movie. What has brought the film to such an end? The film was originally scheduled to be released on March 27, 2020, but mainland Chinese actress Liu Yifei, who starred in the film as Mulan, spoke out in support of the Hong Kong police's crackdown on the anti-extradition bill protest in Hong Kong, saying, I also support the Hong Kong police. You can beat me now which went viral on social media platforms and led to calls for a global boycott of the film. In addition, Beijing's push for the Hong Kong national security law has created a lot of public discontent, and overseas citizens have expressed support for peaceful demonstrators in Hong Kong. When it was announced that the film would be released in Korea, Korean university students and groups protested it to oppose it. People there chanted, we reject promoting violence, and called for Liu Yifei and the Walt Disney Company to apologize to the people of Hong Kong, and immediately stop the release of Mulan in Korea. A spokesman for the World Citizens Declaration, Park Do Jung, said that unjust actors who support police brutality are not qualified to play the role of protagonists of justice, while others said, Mulan was my childhood heroine, I cannot accept someone who supports injustice to cast this role. Mulan is a familiar character not only in China, but also in East Asia. In ancient China, the story of Mulan is documented in the Mulan poems, but her true identity has been unknown for a long time. According to the Tang Dynasty documents, Mulan was born around 1700 years ago in the Northern Wei Dynasty, during which time the frontier was invaded. Her father was a chiliarch, but was too old and weak to fight anymore. That's when she decided to disguise herself as a male soldier and went to the front line. She was fierce in battle and strong in martial arts. After pacifying the frontier for the imperial court, she retired to be with her parents instead of seeking glory and wealth. Mulan represents a collection of traditional Chinese virtues, filial piety, loyalty to nation, compassion and justice, courage and wisdom. As a character with a great influence on Eastern culture, East Asians have been concerned about the actor Disney would choose to play Mulan for some time. With such high expectations, Disney chose Liu Yifei, Born in mainland China, she moved to the United States with her divorced mother when she was young, and returned to China to pursue her career as an actress after becoming an American citizen. She has been living in the United States for a long time, but she supports the use of police violence in Hong Kong and the totalitarian Chinese Communist government, which goes against the universal values of democracy, freedom, and human rights. Like other Chinese actors and actresses, Liu Yifei also spread CCP propaganda to show her loyalty whenever the CCP launches an internet campaign. However, this does not mean that she is very popular in China. The CCP's propaganda department announced in March this year that it was overhauling the entertainment industry in the wake of the US-China trade war, naming and criticizing actors with foreign nationalities as unpatriotic, and dealing a severe blow to their careers in mainland China, including Liu Yifei, as well as Singaporean Gong Li, Jet Li, and Canadian Wu Yifan. Hong Kong netizens say that like Jackie Chan, Liu Yifei is a staunch defender of CCP and opposes any criticism of Beijing. They have made millions of dollars in Hollywood in a capitalist country but support communism and called the United States the most corrupt and racist country in the world. They're just using America and Americans. For these pro-Beijing actors and actresses, supporting Beijing and making pro-communist statements guarantees the success of their film in China, because it ensures that it can be distributed in Chinese cinemas. And they thought that in the United States and the world, very few people really care or understand what is happening in Hong Kong or mainland China. But this is clearly not the case. As on August 10th, 
the founder of Next Media, Jimmy Lei, former Hong Kong Demisisto member, Agnes Chow, and 10 others were arrested by Hong Kong police for violating national security laws and held for more than 24 hours before being released on bail. The 23-year-old, a quiet-looking Hong Kong girl, said she had experienced the most horrific of her four arrests, but has no regrets about continuing to fight for democracy and freedom in Hong Kong. Um, I would say that it's very obvious that the regime and the government is using the national security law to suppress political dissidents. And this type of situation would not only happen on me, but will happen on more and more um, Hong Kong people in the future. She has been dubbed Hong Kong's daughter on the top of Japanese Twitter. A photo of Agnes caused an internet discussion, and many people in international media compared it to the photo of Liu Yifei casting Mulan, saying the real Mulan is in Hong Kong, not in a Disney story. At the age of 15, Agnes joined the Student Democratic Party, Scholarism, founded by Joshua Wong, and others when she was in high school. She opposed the Hong Kong government's proposal to make it compulsory for schools to establish a national education subject with a CCP background. She organized rallies and protests, and attended forums. In 2014, Umbrella Revolution broke out in Hong Kong to fight for political reform and the implementation of universal suffrage for the Legislative Council and the Chief Executive, in which Agnes and scholarism also took part, until the government violently cracked down to clear the scene. In 2016, the Hong Kong government requested Beijing's National People's Congress to interpret the basic law and disqualified a number of democratically elected opposition legislatures for failing to take an oath thus establishing the government's absolute power to pass policies. In 2018, Agnes announced her candidacy for the Legislative Council by election, but was disqualified by the government, saying that her political views were not in line with the interests of the country and Hong Kong. Agnes has now given up and has remained active in Hong Kong and overseas to win international support for democracy in Hong Kong. In 2019, the Hong Kong government's intention to pass the law for the extradition of Hong Kong citizens to mainland China for trial triggered large-scale demonstrations in Hong Kong. On July 6th of the same year, Agnes was arrested by police and charged with inciting others to unauthorized assembly. On August 30th, Agnes was again taken away from her home by police and charged with inciting others to participate in an unauthorized assembly and knowingly participating in an unauthorized assembly. Together with her past action of protest by occupying the Golden Bai Hinaya Square, and now Agnes has been arrested for the fourth time. On the evening of August 11th, Agnes said on Facebook, Although feeling anxious and fear after the arrest under national security law, I have no regret fighting for liberty and democracy for the city. Many years ago, Mulan went to the frontier to defend her nation and protect her people. In Hong Kong today, there is a young woman who defied the tyranny of the Chinese Communist Party and stood up for democracy and liberty. Mulan is not just a pretty lie, she is a true heroine.